Hello everyone. I recently introduced the uh, Express Generator and wanted uh, to make it the fastest uh, possible generator for, for, for strategies. It is written in the plain JavaScript and uh, I used uh, my best knowledge of uh, how to make it as fast as possible. But uh, there is another opportunity, WebAssembly. WebAssembly is uh, used uh, in the browsers and uh, it has uh, the benefits of, uh, uh, because uh, the, the code of WebAssembly is a strictly typed, the, the compiler of the browser can make it, uh, to compile it faster and execute it as fast as possible. Uh, the WebAssembly has the performance echo, virtually echo to the native C. So it is the fastest possible uh, that can be run. So um, I decided to make a test to uh, compute uh, moving averages in JavaScript in the way the Express Generator is doing it and in uh, WebAssembly. So uh, how I do the test? So uh, uh, why? Because uh, uh, if uh, the, the assembly code is faster, I, I know it, it will be faster, but uh, how much faster it will be? So if it's double faster, probably it, it deserves the efforts uh, to, to make it uh, written in assembly, right? Or especially if it's 10 times faster. It will be a huge benefit. But let's find uh, what is going on. So mm, here on the screen we see um, this is the JavaScript code. I will explain what I'm doing. And uh, here is the corris corresponding uh, WebAssembly code. So I, I compute moving average for 200,000 bars. I make uh, two arrays. Uh, one is uh, the prices and I generate random prices. Uh, in the range of from one to two, so ordinary uh, forex or asset price. I generate 200,000 prices. And then uh, I use a static array for uh, the moving average. This is uh, for the JavaScript part, but uh, the same is uh, correspondingly for the uh, assembly script. So why I use a static uh, array? Because I don't want to create array new array every time when I compute a moving average. Uh, this is how uh, Forex Strategy Builder is doing it. And uh, in Studio, but in the Express Generator, I'm, I'm using shared static arrays. And uh, it reduces the work of the garbage collector of the language. So here I generate uh, random prices. Mm. In this code, I com uh, compile uh, the WebAssembly code and uh, import here. And push the prices to the WebAssembly. I have a push price and push the prices one by one. So I, here I have also uh, array of, uh, mm, of the prices, the same as here in the JavaScript. So this price array corresponds to this. Then uh, I compute 1,000 uh, moving averages with period from one to 1,000. So I have 200,000 bars and compute uh, 1,000 uh, moving averages. This is the corresponding uh, code for the JavaScript. So the period is from one to 1,000 and I compute 1,000 moving averages. So let's explain how uh, I compute the moving averages and. Uh, uh, how I think it is the fastest possible uh, way. Mm. I compute the moving average with one pass. One pass means I start from bar zero uh, and uh, loop up to the last bar without uh, making uh, intermediate loops. So this is called one pass. So mm, I start from bar zero to, to period and uh, zero the moving average value. So I put a zero to each uh, uh, position and uh, compute the sum of the prices. So I do this uh, for the bar less than the, the period. Then I compute the, the first moving average value. The first moving average value is the sum, the current sum divided by the period. And then 
uh, I make a running uh, calculation of moving average. So uh, each value of moving average is equal to the previous one plus uh, so I add new price but remove this is the, the new price from the new bar and remove the prices uh, a period bars back and uh, uh, divided by the period. So in that way I calculate the delta so the, the change of the moving average and I add this change to the previous one. So in that way, I calculate only, uh, I loop only once through the bars. I have uh, absolutely the same code in a, a web assembly. It is uh, much larger because uh, here I, I have combined operations, but uh, um, in the assembly I have to do operations one by one. Mm. This is the testing loop. I have tested, start from a period of one and calculate the max period and calculate the moving average for each of these. So this is the loop for testing. Um, the period starts from one and up until period is less than max period and then calculate the moving average. And here I um, yeah, increase the, the period to one. Period is equal to period plus one. The moving average calculations is the same like in the JavaScript code. So I start from bar zero and sum zero and uh, whoop until the bar is less than the period. Bar is less than a period. Mm, I zero the moving average, the same as here. This is the same code. And I calculate the sum. Sum is equal to sum plus uh, uh, the current price. Uh, also uh, uh, in increment the bar with one. And uh, at the end of the loop, I calculate the, the first moving average. So the first moving average is equal to sum divided the period. Then I make this loop here. This is the same code. Okay, uh, enough introduction. Let's run the test. First, I'll compile, uh, compile the, the web assembly code. It is compiled, and now I'll run this test. So the test will uh, compute uh, the JavaScript uh, time with uh, the 1,000 moving average, then it will compute the web assembly uh, time. It will print the times in milliseconds. And for any case, I will print uh, the moving average values for the last bar. Uh, in the JavaScript calculation and the web assembly calculation, uh, just to be sure that uh, we are doing uh, the, the same cal uh, calculations. Let's run the test. Let's find how, fa uh, how much faster is the web assembly code. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> what you see, the JavaScript time is 562 milliseconds. Web assembly time is 568 milliseconds. So they are virtually the same. Moving average calculated in JavaScript is uh, 1.5 and in web assembly is 1.5. Let's run the test again. 563, 564 milliseconds. This, uh, this surprised me. <laughs> Uh, yes, this surprised me because I expected the uh, WebAssembly code to be faster. But it appeared that mm, the well-designed uh, uh, JavaScript code can be as fast as the WebAssembly. So, yeah. So it, uh, what, what appeared, the, the problem with the JavaScript is that uh, the JavaScript is uh, not a strictly typed language. Uh, we can, uh, for example, when you calculate moving averages, we, we can have missing uh, values in, in uh, the array, or instead of number, we can give a string or a character. character. And uh, the JavaScript compiler has to deal with that. But if you uh, give, uh, mm, let's say uh, the uh, variables 
with the parameters to the function with the same time every time uh, with the same uh, type. Uh, the JavaScript compiler uh, optimizes uh, the, the code and it looks like it uh, is capable to optimize the JavaScript code as well as the uh, corresponding quite assembly code. So actually it, it is even better in that way because uh, uh, it proves that um, the express generator is the fastest possible solution. Even if I rewrite it in, in plain C language, it will be as uh, fast as the web assembly. But it appears that the JavaScript uh, version is uh, equal in speed in the web assembly. Um, now, what we can improve? The, for the moving coverage, the code is clear. Yeah, this is a one pass calculation. It is the fastest possible. We have a, a possibility to optimize some of the indicators. We still have uh, indicators in the express uh, generator that uh, uses, uses uh, internal loops. Uh, for example, um, RVI indicator or stochastic indicator. Uh, and uh, I will try to improve uh, these calculations. Uh, the back tester in uh, Express Generator is also one pass calculation. So it is the fastest possible. And yeah, we have the world fastest possible generator. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.